Let's hope so. Now, it's been the most uh, exciting season for years, but on Saturday, Hull City reached the point of no return. If they fail to beat Crystal Palace, they could say goodbye to automatic promotion. One week on from their defeat last Saturday at Sheffield, to Sheffield United, what has been done then to get them back on track for this weekend? And here's our sports reporter, Simon Clark. <laughs> They've been sold out for a week. This is the game Hull City dare not lose. So how will they fight back following last week's defeat? We've been speaking to the manager, the winger and the striker, finding out what's on their minds. Still upbeat. Um, you know, again, if you take uh, the options that were given to us at the start of the season, we obviously had a three-year plan when the new chairman came in. Promotion this year wasn't one of the options. And uh, top 12... Um, he would have accepted, or they would have accepted, uh, top 12, and I think we've exceeded that. We've got a lot of big characters in the, in the dressing room, and um, everyone sort of gets themselves going. And one of the things uh, I think Sam Ricketts come out with is just bounce back next week. So, um, as I say, the manager didn't have to say too much. The players do the talking themselves. Nothing's changed, really. We, we got beat, but the atmosphere has been the same. We've, we've just, the key's on playing football, because that's what we like to do. Um, We've been training well all week, so it's just carrying as we were. The players have responded to everything that we've asked all season, and uh, I don't see any reason why that will change. I think um, the training ground routines um, have made the players more aware of what's coming. Three key figures knowing that for these people, they cannot lose. Simon Clark, BBC Look North, Cottingham. And just a reminder that uh, BBC Radio Humberside have done a battle cry for the Tigers.